You mentioned you're in favor of banning fully automatic weapons because they're inherently dangerous. The number of homicides committed with these weapons is vanishingly small, under 10 since the 1930s. Why do you view them as inherently dangerous? Well, in, in the same way that we've had very few casualties via nuclear bombs, and yet we don't allow people to generally own them. Even the NRA is not in favor of fully automatic weapons being widely available and, and sold and owned. There are certain states, by the way, where you can buy a, a fully automatic machine gun. Generally not through federally licensed firearms dealers, but you can fire them at, at gun shows in, in particular states, for example. I, th honestly, the case for, for legalizing fully automatic weapons is not inconsiderable. Right? In Debunked, however, I said that you at least understand the logic, that when it comes to gun control measures, which typically were done on the state level, there was a balance between the the deadliness of the weapon and the general use of the weapon, which is what the court says in Heller versus DC, and the wide availability of the weapon. You, you wouldn't want people owning cruise missiles, even if very few of them fired them. 